to walk in peace, unburdened in prayer. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In these verses, the Apostle Paul shares with us another a very important key to having the peace of God in our hearts and in our lives. He says, you know, in every situation, don't let the anxieties get the better of you. Be anxious for nothing. nothing. But in everything, in every situation, here's what we do. He says, through prayer, through supplication, with thanksgiving. So you pray, you make your earnest, sincere request to God, and you give thanks to Him that He will intervene. He is faithful to His promise. Prayer, supplication, thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Put your burden before God, your desire, your need, your whatever it is, you lay it down before God. And he says, when you do that, you exchange your burden, you exchange what's on your heart, you put it out there before him, then what will happen? The peace of God, which is beyond understanding, which surpasses all our human ability to comprehend. In other words, we are not going to be able to figure this out. We're not going to be able to explain it in, in, in natural terms. We're not going to be able to necessarily understand how we're going to have the peace of God because it's the peace that is beyond all understanding. It is a peace that can fill your heart even when you have unanswered questions. It is a peace that can fill you even when you don't know how or you don't know why or you don't know from where. When you have all the unanswered questions staring at you, you still can have the peace of God because it's the peace that passes all understanding. It's beyond all understanding. He says, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind. The picture is of a garrison, a wall, a fortress that surrounds your heart and your mind. So there could be things trying to bombard your heart and mind and disturb it, but there's a peace of God that stands guard, that's, that surrounded your heart and mind, keeping you in a state of peace. And the key to walking in that peace, he says, is let don't be anxious, but you present those things that bring anxiety in prayer in supplication, with thanksgiving to God. You unburden it in prayer. You release it to God and His peace fills your heart and mind and keeps you, guards you, protects you in Jesus Christ. Walk in peace by unburdening your heart to God in prayer. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can cast all our cares upon you because you care for us. We can lay our anxieties down before you. And we can have your peace in our hearts, knowing God that you will take care of what concerns us. We thank you. We do it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.